Okay, 2 part a then says that if dy by dx is 0, show that y equals 2x. So when dy by dx equals 0, we're going to have y squared take away 2xy over x squared take away 2xy is equal to 0. Now when a fraction equals 0, that's when the numerator equals 0. So we can ignore the bottom and just say that y squared has to equal uh, sorry, y squared minus 2xy needs to equal 0. And if I factorise the y out, you get y bracket y take 2x equals 0. And therefore either the y equals 0 or y equals 2x. And that's what they were looking for. The reason the y equals 0 isn't acceptable is if we go up, back up to the top, if y equals 0, then we'd have 0 here and here, and we'd have 0 equals 2, which obviously is not true, so y can't equal 0. The only solution is that y equals 2x, since 0 cannot equal 